The effect of baking powder on cupcake rising amount. So basically my question here is what amount of baking powder is best to use in a cake? And I will figure this out by measuring the rise of the cupcakes using different amounts of baking powder so that I can show which cupcake has the best texture. Baking powder is a common ingredient in cakes. Um, it's made of an acid, a base, and a filler. And they're all powdered so when they get wet in the batter, they create carbon dioxide, which creates air bubbles in the batter and allows it to rise. So my research question is, what amount of baking powder allows cupcakes to rise the most? And based on my research, I think that adding more baking powder will allow the chemical re reaction to occur more and create more carbon dioxide air bubbles in the batter that allow it to increase its height. So the independent variable will be the baking powder amount, which I will change, and the dependent variable will be the cupcake height that changes as I change the baking powder amount. So here's my procedure. I just made a really basic cupcake recipe, um, and then I added the liner to the pan, and I added 1.5 ounces of batter into each cupcake liner. And then to measure the initial height of each cupcake, I stuck a toothpick in, and when I pulled it out, you could see how high up the batter was, and I measured that with a ruler. Then I baked the cupcakes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 17 minutes. And then for each of the other experimental groups, I added increasing amounts of baking powder and less flour so that the batter stayed the same consistency. Once all the cupcakes were done baking, they were taken out and cooled, and once they were cooled, I cut them straight in half with a knife and measured the final height through the direct center of the cupcake. Um, some risk and safety. Uh, obviously, the oven is hot, so I used hot pads so I didn't burn myself, and the knife, since it's sharp, I was just careful that I didn't cut myself. So here are my results. Um, we have a table for 0 teaspoons, 1 teaspoon, 2 teaspoons, and 3 teaspoons of baking powder. And we have three different cupcakes for three trials for each different amount. And then we have the initial height, the final height, and then the amount that it rose in the final column. And then for each one, here's the average. So 3 teaspoons rise the most. Here's a graph of my results, and as you can see, as the baking powder amount increased, so did the rising height significantly, um, until you get here near the top, where it seems to kind of level out a little bit more. So it seems like more baking powder in the recipe allowed the chemical reaction to happen more, which caused more carbon dioxide to form, which caused a greater increase in height in the batter. Um, however, as the amount kept increasing, the graph seemed to level out, so there, it seems like there's a certain limit to how much baking powder will cause more of a rise in the cupcake height. Um, possible errors, there's always human error, um, I could have measured things wrong, or measuring the height, um, the oven could have been heated unevenly, so placement in the oven could have affected the height as well. My original hypothesis that if more baking powder is used, then the cupcakes will rise more seems to be supported by my data. As more baking powder was added, the height also increased. However, it did seem to level out near the end, so to expand on this, I might add more trials with more baking powder to see if the height continued to rise more or if it kind of evened out. Um, this information will be helpful to bakers because it will allow them to create a more fluffy and less dense of a cake.